And now, the native screen reader for Android. This is a segment we refer to as Talkback Highlights. This is where some feature of the screen reader is demonstrated. Hi, John here, and for today's installment of Talkback Highlights, I'm going to be demonstrating the new Braille keyboard gestures in Talkback 14. Talkback 14 was included with Android 14 Beta 3, so it's not yet available in the Play Store, but when it is, it should be available for all devices, no matter which version of Android it's running. So the first thing I'm going to discuss is the new granularity controls. So previously, you could not change the granularity from within the keyboard. You would have to leave, change the granularity, and come back into the keyboard. And the only two granularities you had were characters and words. Now, however, you can navigate by characters, words, lines, or paragraphs by swiping up or down with one finger. And in order to change the granularity, you just swipe left or right with three fingers. So I'm in a text box right now, and the granularity is set to characters, so I'm going to swipe right with three fingers. Words. That increases the granularity. I'm going to go a couple more times. Lines. Paragraphs. Now I'm at the beginning of the field now. I'm going to swipe down to go forward one paragraph to see what we have typed already. There are now many new gestures in the TalkBack Braille keyboard. Now I'm going to swipe down again. You can use these gestures to move the cursor, select text, and perform clipboard functions, end of field. So that's just a quick demonstration of how to use the new granularity system. However, there are a lot of different gestures for specific things. So I'm going to show you the gesture for moving to the beginning of the field or the end of the field. So to do this, you're going to hold dots four and five and swipe up or down. So if you want to go to the beginning of the field, you swipe up. If you want to go to the end of the field, you swipe down. So I'm holding dots four and five right now and I'm going to swipe up to go to the beginning of the field. There are now many new gestures in the TalkBack Braille keyboard. You can use these gestures to move the cursor, select text, and perform clipboard functions beginning of field. So it read all the text between where my cursor was and the beginning of the field, and let me know I'm now at the beginning of the field. Of course, I was at the end of the field, so it read all the text. Now I'm going to show you how you can navigate by characters, words, or lines. So if you hold dot six and swipe up or down, that will navigate by characters. If you hold dot five and swipe up or down, that will navigate by words. If you hold dot four and swipe up or down, that will navigate by lines. So we're at the beginning of the field. I'm gonna hold dot four and I'll swipe down, that will read one line. There are now many new gestures in the TalkBack Braille keyboard. So I swiped down twice, so you heard two lines. And now I'm gonna hold dot five and swipe a few times to just to go by words. You can use. And now I'm going to hold dot six and swipe a few times to go by characters. Space, T, H, E, Echo. So that's how you'll navigate by characters, words, or lines. I'm going to go back to the beginning of the field. There are now many new gestures in the TalkBack Braille keyboard. You can use the beginning of field. So let's say I wanted to add a word here. Say I wanted, instead of just saying new gestures, I want to say cool new gestures. I'm going to navigate by words. There are now many new. So I'm going to go back 
one word to get to the beginning of new. New. I'm going to type cool and put a space. C. O. O. L. Cool. So I'm going to go back to the beginning of the field. There are now many cool beginning of field. So it read everything between the cursor and the beginning of the field, so I know it's now changed. Now I'm going to show you how to select text. These gestures are the same as navigating, but you'll swipe with two fingers instead of one finger. So let's say I decide I don't want to use the word cool, but I want to say useful. So I'm going to hold dot five and I'm going to swipe down there are until now I get to the word many. cool. Cool. Now I'm going to swipe up with two fingers to select the word cool because right now the cursor is after the word cool. Cool selected. And now I'll just type useful. Cool deleted. S E F U. L. So I'm going to go back to the beginning. Useful. There are now many useful beginning of field. So this is what we have now. There are now many useful new gestures in the talkback braille keyboard. You can use these gestures to move the cursor, select text, and perform clipboard functions and of field. So lastly, I'm going to show you how to use clipboard functions. So if you want to select all, you're going to hold dot four and swipe left with three fingers. Selected text. There are now many useful new gestures in the talkback braille keyboard. You can use these gestures to move the cursor, select text and perform clipboard functions. And for copy, if you want to copy the text, you hold dot four and swipe down with three fingers. Copied. There are now many useful new gestures in the talkback braille keyboard. You can use these gestures to move the cursor, select text, and perform clipboard functions. Copied to clipboard. And if you want to cut instead of copy, you will swipe up with three fingers while you're holding dot four. I'm not going to do that because I've already copied the text. However, I will delete the text since it's selected. Cleared text. And now I'll show you the last clipboard function, which of course is paste, and that is to hold dot four and swipe right with three fingers. Functions. It just said the last word, but it pasted all the text that I had just copied. So that concludes the demonstration, but there are three things that I wanted to mention. The first thing I wanted to mention is that all of these gestures where you hold one dot and swipe are reversible. So if you prefer to swipe with your right hand rather than your left hand, you can replace anytime I said dot four with dot one and anytime I said dot five or dot six with dot two or three. So that's an option if it's easier for you that way. Second, I wanted to mention that you have to hold each dot for basically a full second before you swipe. So if you quickly press dot five and swipe to go to the next word, it won't work unless you've held dot five for about a full second before you swipe. So that's something that you're going to have to get used to. And the third thing I wanted to mention is that Anytime you use a gesture where you hold a dot and navigate by characters, words, or lines, that changes the granularity to whatever you navigated by. So if, like me, you get the bright idea to just set your granularity to paragraphs, that way you can navigate by paragraphs by swiping up and down with one finger and use all the other gestures to navigate by character words and lines, that's not going to work for you because as soon as you use a gesture like, for example, holding dot six and swiping to move by character, that will change your granularity to character. So at that point, if you swiped up or down with one finger, that will move the cursor by a character. 
All right, I hope this has been informative and helpful. Thank you for listening.